Hi dear friends, some of our friends wanted an explanation for this statement that is seen a lot in social media. There is as much disorder in the universe as there is order. There is also chaos and coincidence. If there is coincidence and chaos and disorder, it doesn't really matter if there is a God or not. Maybe the universe is created and then left on its own. Maybe there is no God. Dear friends, I will try to explain to you the order in the universe using the language of science. With a simple research, we can see that all the science that humanity excel in are actually like a summary and analysis of the system, order and harmony that is in the universe. For example, the law of gravity in physics is a fact that applies to all beings. This truth was first discovered by scientists and then was contributed to science as a law. Nowadays, there are thousands of signs that lead us to thousands of rules and principles. These show the delicate balances of the flow of the universe from a scientific perspective. So, how can the creatures we see scattered in nature, climate events that seem random, human beings, their erratic behavior and the chaos they caused be explained? At this point, a fairly new sub-branch of physics and mathematics is going to guide us, the chaos theory. First, let's take a look at what chaos theory is. Scientists, who are the pioneers of modern science, first expected to find a determinist universe by formalizing the values they observed. For example, one of the biggest contributors of determinism was Isaac Newton, who laid the foundations of mechanics with the book he published on 1687. By using Newton's formulas, we can calculate the trajectory of the rockets we launch or determine the position a planet will be in 50 years from now. But when the gaze of humanity reaches subatomic particles and the black holes that dwell in the depths of astronomy, the determinist approach lost its validity and lent its place to the principles of the chaos theory. So, the events that happened in the universe were not all related and they were not all on linear path. Their flaw was like complex geometries like the fractals. There may be a thousand factors that contribute to an event and we can make a more accurate observation when we factor all these things. Let's talk about this example a bit. Think of a leaf falling down. We can relate the leaf's fall to a single rule which is the law of gravity as we all know. But the questions we should answer aren't only the questions of why and how, but also the questions of when and where. When we try to answer these questions, we will see that the law of gravity is not enough by itself, because there are many parameters that affect the leaf's fall. Wind type and speed, humidity and temperature are only a few of these factors and maybe the simplest ones. To find the full answer, we must know all these parameters with all their intricacies. So, we must know about all the parameters that we can know about from atoms to much smaller subatomic particles. Because even the simplest variable can cause the leaf to fall in a completely different way, the phenomenon in which a small variable greatly affects a system is called the butterfly effect. So, what is this butterfly effect? A meteorologist, Edward Lawrence, was working on computer-generated weather forecast during 1963. On one of his calculations, Lawrence entered 0.506127 into the system as an initial value. During the second phase, instead of entering 0.506127, he rounded the value down to 0.506, thinking it would be a small change that wouldn't affect the system. Indeed, this change was mathematically a small change. However, Lawrence was shocked by the results he found. The small change he made led to the system giving immensely different results. Lawrence thought that his computer was faulty, but the calculations he repeatedly made told him otherwise. A small change he made in his computer, as significant as the wing flap of a butterfly, ended in the system completely changing. He published this new approach that he found in the Atmospheric Sciences magazine on March 1963 and used term butterfly effect for the first time. With this, the term butterfly effect took its place both in scientific and public lexicon. 
And this is the knowledge that the chaos theory offers us. The universe is a cycle of systems in which even the wind from the wings of a butterfly counts. This structure that, at first glance, looks like disorder works with a mind-boggling order under well-calculated factors. When we look from the perspective of chaos, we see that the universe is an incredible system, closed to the slightest intervention from outside and it does not contain a spot of disorder. When we add the incredible and complex structure in conscious creatures like humans to the equation, the universe turns into a mind-boggling piece of art. Dear friends, besides the structure and the system we can see in the universe, there is a perfect and complex structure and harmony that looks like disorder and coincidence, which we understand using the chaos theory. This tells us of creator that single-handedly created the universe and managed it, with the hope of realizing the perfection in chaos. Please subscribe to our channel, share with your loved ones, and goodbye.